Even as a second founding chapter, the Crimson Fists are few in number, but are held as warriors without peer. Forged in the fires of the most terrible and hopeless battles. They fight so that their chapter may survive, and one day regain its former glory. In this video, we'll be showing you how to paint a Space Marine Terminator in the colours of the Noble Crimson Fists. For our guide, we'll be painting a Sergeant model, but this colour scheme works universally for all your Crimson Fist Terminators. We'll be painting efficiently, so you'll be able to get your Terminators ready to defend the Imperium on the battlefield in no time at all. And by following this guide, you can easily transfer the techniques shown to any other Crimson Fists in your collection. You'll have a whole army ready before you know it. If you're new to painting, you can check out the Citadel Colour Painting Essentials videos to learn all about paints and techniques. The paints we've used are on the screen right now. These are the colours of the Crimson Fists, but remember you can paint your miniatures however you like. Also on the screen right now is the additional equipment we've used, but feel free to use whatever brushes you're most comfortable with. The first thing we need to do is undercoat our model, and for this we've chosen to use Chaos Black as this gives us a nice solid dark undercoat for the iconic blue armour. It's also a great idea to have a pot of Abaddon Black to hand, to tidy up any mistakes. Talking about that blue armour, we'll apply Cantor Blue over that black undercoat. We'll thin it down and apply a few thin coats to build up a smooth solid colour. But don't worry about being neat at this stage, we just want to make sure that every recess is covered. You don't even need to paint the hands at this stage. Just make sure that each coat is fully dry before applying the next. As if we add the second coat as the first one is still drying, it can pull up the paint and create lines and lumps, which we don't want. With that blue applied, we can move on to lead belcher for the vents, sword blade, chest eagle, piping and targeting array. Just like with Cantor Blue, we want to apply a few thin coats to build up that metallic coverage. But just be careful not to smudge this onto the blue armour, but if you do, don't worry, just leave it to dry and cover over with Cantor Blue. Smudging it or trying to wash away the metallic paints can lead to a shimmer over a larger area. Now we can apply Retributor Armour to the gold details on the sword and any relics or skulls. After a few thin coats, the colour should be a nice solid metallic tone. Just like before, leave each coat to fully dry and this is also a great time to use the Abaddon Black to tidy up the undersuit as we've done a majority of our bigger base coats. Once you have finished with your metallic paints, we'll change our paint water, so we don't get any metallic flakes into our next colours. With some clean paint water, we can move on to corn red for the lenses, wax seals, and one of the most defining features of the Crimson Fists, their hands. Just two to three thin coats should fully cover over that blue base coat, so do take your time, as we don't want to make any mistakes at this stage. Corn red is a nice, rich dark red, that is iconic for the aptly named Crimson Fists. Then we'll apply Rakarth Flesh to any parchment and the Crux Terminatus icons. As this colour is much lighter and thinner, we'll need two to three thin coats to get a solid colour. Rakarth Flesh works really well for a sandstone and parchment colour, adding a slightly warmer tone to the whole model rather than using something bright and cold. Then we'll paint any stonework on the base with Mechanica Standard Grey. This just helps the model and the base tie in, and looks more lived in. Not all of your Terminators will have this detail though, so you can skip this step if needed. Depending on the texture paint you pick, you can paint this in any other colour you wish. Just be careful around the feet. With those base coats applied, we can look at shading all over the details with null Noil. We want to cover pretty much everything, as this colour works well to darken down all the recesses with subtle shadows. When it comes to the armour though, we only want to shade those recesses, so use a smaller brush to get into all the gaps. And we don't want to apply too much, as if we do, we run the risk of some of those colours becoming too dark, and unwanted pooling in bigger areas. So use a small amount of shade and move it around quickly as you apply it. After this has fully dried, if there are some raised areas of armour or details that are a little bit too dark, we can always tidy those areas up before moving on to our last stages. Once those colours are down, we'll add a simple and quick highlight onto the blue armour with Calador Sky. By thinning down our paint and rolling the brush on the palette, we can control how much paint we have to apply and get the brush to a nice sharp point. Then you can use the side of the brush and run it around the edges to highlight quickly with a uniform finish across the armour. 
Then any areas that are a little bit tricky, you can use the tip of the brush to apply this color. Remember, if you can't see that detail, you don't have to highlight it. So focus on the most visible and raised edges around the top and the sides of the model. And to finish off our Terminator, we'll highlight the red details with Evil Sun Scarlet. For the hands, we'll just highlight the most visible areas and just dot the lenses with a small amount of this color. You can even highlight the gun casing as well. And there we are, your Crimson Fist Terminator is now complete. Ready to protect the Imperium and their homeworld from the traitors and aliens alike. You can now go and base your model. We've used Astro Granite to base ours, and if you'd like to learn more about technical paints, we've got a video all about them. For more tutorials, tips and tricks, check out citadelcolor.com, or head to your local Warhammer store where our amazing staff will be happy to help you. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!